right, people. So we rolled up on another leg day. Um, let's see what we got here. So I started out with squats. Um, it was a late night in the gym. I just kind of warmed up with the bar to get started and um, yeah, I'm like, why well, walk that back? The bar is so light I can just show the person over here. <laughs> then um, I don't know if this is 115 or 135. I want to say this is 115. I don't think it's 135. My depth is pretty good, but I'll never squat in these shoes again. The the soles are too squishy. I also was leaning bit leaning forward a bit. Man, filming yourself, you'll always catch all of your technique mistakes. You can't help but to freaking catch them. Um, when you film the tape, the camera don't lie at all. But yeah, this is 135 right here. I always put clips on uh, uh, on my squats um, because these weights they will slide off the bar on your ass. I have been in there squatting before, and by the time I get done, the plates are almost on the floor because <laughs> I'm not 100%. Um, I don't hold the bar 100% level. So I think after 125. I mean 135 I can't really read what that says but I think those are tens on each side text message so yeah yeah because I remember now I went to 155 so 10 on each side would make that 155 um, to be very honest with you I hadn't squatted 155 in a while I wasn't working up to a single rep max or anything, but I after that I put fives on each side. So 155, this is 165. Um, and I actually was surprised at um, how easy I lifted that, considering I have not put 165 on my back in a while, or at least at the time of me filming this in a while, because I've gone. I've gone up. Well, yeah, I have. I've gone up since then, but unfortunately, I haven't filmed it. I don't film every single workout um, of me in the gym. So, you know, that plays um, a factor. But I do write down any PRs, anything like that. I have a book that I write that down in. So, after I did the 165, I went back down to 135 and decided... Um, to just basically do reps um, so I want to say did I do three sets um, I don't know we'll see I can't remember it's been a while ago since I filmed this I mean I filmed it in 2022 but it's been at least two weeks ago I think So, moving on to hack machine, since I had people encroaching. No, I was kidding. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't move because of them. I could care less. Um, something I've been working on on the hack machine is depth. Um, every time I get on it, I, I feel myself being able to go a little bit lower. So if you wonder why I don't just throw a whole bunch of weight on there, it's because I'm actually. Um, Working on depth on this machine. Um, the starting weight is only a hundred and six or something. It's not very much. Those are five pound plates um, I put on there. <laughs> but um, I really have resigned myself to. I'm not going to put any weight on there until I can pretty much reach full depth. Parallel is fine. I would like to go a little bit lower than parallel though. And I think 
nowadays I'm a little bit lower than parallel I can feel myself getting significantly stronger on the hack squats um, hack squats it ain't really something I really ever worked out worked very much um, I just have always preferred um, back squats and front squats back squats more than front squats I need to work on my front squats by the way which I'm going to do that's one of my um, goals for this year is working on front squats because I don't do them very often so I think I should do front squats just as much as back squats if I want them to be good because I know I can front squat way less than what I'm back squat. Um, but I do, I think I changed those five pound plates out for tens, I think. But I do feel my strength coming back. Um, and my legs, um, when I was at home, I still worked legs, but it was more like reps, lighter weight, but a lot of reps. Um, but now I can feel a little bit more weight and still get in a decent amount of volume. Um, so here I just decided to do leg press. We have the other leg press machine as well. Um, but I prefer this one. But I think the reason why I prefer this one is because like I said in my chest video, there are some techniques um, that I'm going to tighten up on and, and change a bit. And I think the reason why I like this one is because... Um, I feel like it gives me better technique than the other one. But I think the other one has its place as well. But I still I need to fix um, my technique. Tighten up a little bit more and uh, where I place my feet, you know. Be very diligent. That's something else I'm doing is not rushing so much when I get into a machine. I, I take my time more and set up before I do the maneuver. Whereas sometimes I can rush and really, I really don't take the time to set the machine up optimally for me before I get going. So that's something I'm working on. Slowing down and doing those little things. Um, like I said, I don't do anything stupid, but sometimes I'm, I'm like, okay, it's good enough instead of taking the time to like make sure it's perfect. Um, but this machine here is kind of foolproof. Nobody, I think not many people use it because I noticed like, the seat placement never moves. It's always the same on this machine. I don't know. And everybody's not the same height. But maybe people don't know that if you're shorter or taller that you need to adjust the seat to accommodate. Yeah, I just thought about that. It's probably what it is. Probably what people don't. They don't really think about all that. They just feel like if you get in a machine and you just do the work that you're doing something. But when I come to the gym, I try my best to not just move furniture. And what I mean by that is... I don't want to be the dumb meathead that comes to the gym and all you do is pick up stuff and put it down. You know, you pick up a dumbbell, you know, so many times and you put it down and you put it back. You know, that's fucking moving furniture. Like, I want to be mentally connected to my body parts and actually get them to move and to function the way my brain is telling them to do so. So, basically when I come to the gym, I want to be intelligent about it. Instead of being a dumbass. So many people are dumbasses when they go in the gym. And you can see it. You can tell it from their body. You can tell it by the way they do the reps. You can tell it by the way they just arbitrarily. Like just randomly pick exercises out of a hat. Or they just randomly walk up to random machines. Like I see it all the time. Like there are certain people at my gym I look at him I'm like yeah he knows what he's doing he has some goal in mind like I don't know exactly what the goal is but I can tell by the way he works out that he has some goal in mind and he's working towards that goal and then there are other people that come into the gym and I'm like God bless him he's all over the place you know I, and, and you can just tell you can just completely tell it just like I saw a guy the other day doing that and he kept looking at me and he was like you know you're very focused when you come in here and I looked at him and I'm, I was so baffled because I'm like, what else should I be other than being focused? I, I don't understand. So you come to the gym and you don't focus? What, what are you thinking about? But he spends a lot of time on his phone and, you know, just all this different stuff in the gym, which, you know, it is what it is. But so, but once I didn't forget calves, um, I've been doing a little bit better about doing calves. I don't just do calves on leg day. I do calves. Um, 
every other workout pretty much. Um, I needed on every workout. Um, my calves used to look quite a bit better when I was working on them more frequently. Um, but I'll be honest, my calves are not something that I love to work. They're very painful for me to work. Um, and I also need to work them in a way that's optimal. Meaning, a lot of times when it starts to hurt, I'll just speed up and try to hurry up and get it over with. But calves actually respond to being under stimulus for longer periods of time because you walk on them so much. So it's it's they're they're resistant to um, just those short bursts of stimulus. They do better when they're taxed, at least for me, harder and longer periods of time. So me, so basically, the more it burns. The more, the more, the more I should keep doing it um, for the longer periods of time. So um, I finished off with um, leg extension, and here I pretty much was just really trying to burn out the last little bit of legs I had left. Um, by this point, my legs were shaking. It was hard for me to walk. It just felt like I had lead in them. Um, and even this, even though I connect really well on leg extension, I'm still going to tweak this and I'm going to try something different. Um, or I should say I'm going to show you guys um, how I end up changing what I'm doing as far as my legs. Um, It's not major changes, guys. It's just minor, very minor changes. But not much to see other than me doing leg extension and a bunch of. I think those guys are power lifters. I'm not for sure. Um, I, I mean, I don't know what they do. They do more talking and laughing than anything. And by the end of their workout, most of them are half naked, three quarters naked. I don't understand that part either. But it is what it is. They they seem nice enough. They wave at me when they see me. And then I wave back and then I'm usually gone before. <laughs> uh, before they've even done their second set. I'm usually gone. Um, but yeah. So once again thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, like, share, subscribe. I probably need to stay there at the beginning. But once again I only want like, share, subscribe. If you actually like the video. So. Appreciate y'all for watching. Um, Till next time. See you guys later.